Hi, this is John Calvert from the Clarkstown Central School District. This session we're going to introduce the Smart Notebook Gallery. We're going to look at how you open the gallery, how it's used, and what you can find once you're there. Okay, so let's get started. I'm going to add a page to this presentation, and I'm going to open up the sidebar using the second tab. That's the tab right here, the tab that has the picture frame on it. That's the gallery tab. Now I'm going to turn auto hide off on the bottom left of the sidebar because I want that to stick up. There we go. Now the gallery window is broken up into two sections. We have the top section which shows you the categories that are available and then we have the bottom section which shows you what's inside those categories. Now in that top section we've got a uh, category that's unique to Clarkstown called district content. In mine it actually looks like my content because I'm doing this from home but if I click the plus sign right next to my content you will see the same categories that's in the district content category. So we've got graphic organizers, letters, math manipulatives, and primary math examples. I'm going to close that plus sign by, or actually it's a negative sign now, I'm going to close that category up. You'll also have Essentials for Educators and the Lesson Activity Toolkit. Those are uh, those are gifts from smart technology themselves. There's some real wonderful uh, tools in there. I'm going to add a new page. And I'm going to look at the My Content or the District Content category. You'll notice that next to the category there is a box with a plus sign. If I click that plus sign, the category expands. You'll also notice in the lower box on the sidebar that it tells you that there are pictures and backgrounds, interactive, multimedia, and notebook files available inside this category. And then next to that there's a number in parentheses. That number tells us that there's 360 pictures and backgrounds in this category. That's too many to really look through efficiently. The reason it shows you that there's so many there is because the main category, the parent category, is selected. If I choose graphic organizers, that number changes. Now it only says 75. But if I click the plus sign next to that and choose the English graphic organizers, now I'm down to 38. And I can click the, down po the, the side pointing arrow on that bar and it will expand the bar so that I can see all of the graphic organizers that are inside that category. So yes, you have graphic organizers in your district uh, content folder. In fact, there's 32 of them. And I can take a VIN and I can just drag it into my page. And now I can use the VIN with my students. This VIN is also available as a PDF inside the technology folder on your AllShare. I'm going to make a new page and we're going to look at some of the other things that are available inside of Note. Of course we've got all of these math manipulatives, the base 10 blocks, all of the counters, all sorts of things that you can use um, when you're uh, teaching math uh, and you want to use some manipulatives. The same manipulatives in fact, if you use manipulatives in class, chances are, because I've borrowed them from you the teacher, you'll have those same concrete manipulatives here to demonstrate things with your students. Then underneath that, we have primary math examples. Now these are examples that I created to help you get an idea of what you could do with those math manipulatives that are in the other category. So if I go to third grade, I'm going to see all of these notebook files and pages that have been uh, saved to this gallery. So for instance, if I want a fractions and uh, comparing fractions reference, I can just double click on that or drag it into my page and now I've got a reference that I can use with my students. Let me make this, there we go. And you can drag these around and compare uh, three-thirds to one whole or one-third to two-sixths. So that was a very uh, quick introduction to the gallery. There's an awful lot more that can be found there. Uh, before I leave you, I just want to mention that we do have this great search feature. So if you know that there's a timer and you don't know where it is in the gallery, rather than going through the thousands of things that are there, just type in timer. 
and see what comes up in the search results. So I know it's an interactive timer, so I want this one. Drag it over. And students have 10 seconds to find uh, the equivalent to one third. So I hope this was a useful uh, session. I'll stop my timer before we buzz. And uh, in summary, what we did today was we looked at how to open the gallery. We looked at how we can sort through the gallery. And we looked at a little bit of what's there. So I hope this was informative and interesting. And have fun using the gallery.